So one of the issues that I often run into with an overflow container is that when the user reaches a local maxima of the content within that overflow container, subsequent scrolling of the mouse wheel gets applied to the one of the ancestor elements, such as the body. So for example, as I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see that it's being applied to this overflow container. But then if I hit the bottom and I pause, and then I scroll again, sometimes this gets applied to the body element. There you go. Um, Similarly, if I pause again, and then I scroll up, now it's being applied here. And if I pause, and then I go again, you can see now it's being applied to the body. And that's scroll chaining. It's a feature of the browser. Now, luckily, uh, it turns out that we can use this overscroll behavior CSS property in Chrome, Firefox, and Edge to declaratively control how uh, scrolling reacts when you hit a maxima of the overflow content. So if we set it to contain, what we can see now is that as I scroll down or I scroll up, and if I scroll down and then pause, and then continue to scroll down, you can see that nothing here seems to affect the body. Uh, the scrolling is essentially contained or trapped within this overflow container and never leaks out into the parent content. Again, as opposed to the default behavior, which is to let the scrolling uh, chain up to the parent element, uh, and creating what, in my opinion, is a less desirable user experience. So overscroll behavior, to me, total game changer. Uh, this is definitely something I'm gonna be shipping to production today to create a better user experience for things like uh, rich HTML dropdown menus, mobile windows, uh, flyout panels, anything where a user has a scrollable area where they will tend to hit the bottom of it and not want the scrolling to affect parent elements like uh, the body, such as in this case on here on the left. So a uh, huge shout out to Derek Duncan who brought this to my attention. Uh, total game changer, total creation of a better user experience. Super, super excited about applying this.